in today's video i will talk about the bitcoin price i will talk about the ethereum price of course i still need to talk about paypal as well i am going to talk about way more things even about how you can start to earn bitcoin now while you just read no it's not a browser it's a book if you start reading this book you can earn 10 million satoshis guys and i'm going to talk to you about all of this in this beautiful place you see the entrance behind me this is the gate to one of the most colorful places here on Copangan. enjoy this video I didn't want to make this video today on my beach, on my office, so I'm taking you to this very beautiful temple here on Copangan. The temple is called, is the name, it's called Shrine of Our Lady Guan Jim Pangan. I think they also refer to it as the Chinese temple. Uh, it should be a very colorful temple, temple, so let's have a look. I needed to pay a contribution to enter the temple, it's 40 baht. 40 baht is around 0 0.00013 BTC. Uh, which is about one dollar fourteen fifteen I think at the moment um, so that's not a lot to visit a very beautiful temple give an extra tip at the end of visiting this temple because you will be amazed of all these beautiful colors and you will also be amazed about the views that you're going to see because this temple is literally on a hill looking across the sea and a small part of Chalaklam and the jungle wow I'm already seeing all these bright colors I'm already amazed this is beautiful this is culture this is why i like traveling guys i will turn around so you can enjoy this view with me This is such a beautiful temple guys, I have never seen so many colors in a temple before I think. Yes I saw a few of these temples in Bangkok with all these colors but this one is special. It's on Koh Phangan, man. I have been so many times on Koh Phangan, and I never took the time to visit this temple while I was near my favorite village Chalaklam. I'm just amazed about the fact that I've been traveling so long many times here and didn't see this one yet. I'm going to go back later today with the kids because they want to see all these bright colors. They will love these colors. Of course they are sleeping still because I wake up very early um, to record these videos but this is just beauty. While I walk to the next part of the temple guys I will talk you through some news for today because you know everybody is now afraid of these options that are going to expire the 26th of June guys. This is in a few days. I think 1 billion worth of US dollar and Bitcoin options are going to expire on the 26th of June. So people are expecting this huge market volatility now the next couple of days. I don't know if this is true guys because you know these are mainly call options. I think 75% of the options are call options which means they are all expecting the Bitcoin price to go up. So I think it only leaves like 70 million US dollar and that can influence the, the Bitcoin price. I don't think that this is the reason for the volatility of the price. I think it's just again this huge resistance we are going to see at 10,000 and this one can bring the price down again. So let's see what will happen in the next couple of days. But as said in the previous videos guys, the Bitcoin price is going to move and the movement is probably going to be in the end of June 
beginning of July. Because that is exactly when all these triangles come together and all these lines come together and the market will need to make a decision. I think it will be on the 1st of July <laughs> because again, it's the birthday of my mother. But man, it can also be, of course, on the 26th of June when these options expire. Again, we can go down a little bit, guys. We can go down to 7, 8K. The upwards movement we will see afterwards is way bigger than the 30% or the 25% dip we can see in the next couple of days. I'm not saying we are going to see it. I think that Bitcoin has a huge support around 9,000. Like we saw in the last few attempts of the bears to break Bitcoin down, uh, they didn't succeed. We kept at 8,900, 9,000. So I think we can do this again. And if not, I'm still not worrying. I'm just buying the dip again um, with the last stable currencies I have. Is it coincidence that I am talking about the Bitcoin price? Why I see this beautiful Buddha on the background? No, I'm not seeing it. You see this Buddha on the background. Look at his left hand. He is holding on his left hand a bag of probably golden coins. As in that time, the people still trusted in gold and silver and many other coins. So this guy, he is smiling. He's telling me every little thing is gonna be all right. That is why he's smiling and holding this bag of Bitcoins. He is a hodler. He will hold the Bitcoins till the end. He will stay here for many more years, hodl his Bitcoins. And that is what exactly more than 60% of ours is doing. We are all hodling our Bitcoins. So guys, I think long term, zoom out into the market, we will go up. The reason we could see some price action, guys, is that a lot of traders are going to close their um, positions just before that these options are going to expire. There's so many traders will close their position um, before the 26th of June, and this can lead to the price change, guys. Let's see what it does. I don't think we see a huge influence because of the option expiry, but who knows, guys, who knows? Maybe I'm just a guy visiting a Chinese temple, enjoying life and leading by example, by doing a real Bitcoin life and not only interested in the Bitcoin price. If it comes to prices, guys, I would also take a look at Ethereum at the moment. Why Ethereum? Because guys, Ethereum is looking very bullish as well. Um, the DeFi industry is exploding, guys. And we can even see all the volume on the decentralized exchanges on the DEX increasing massively. We saw an all time high in the DEX industry. They are all built on Ethereum. Combination of the DeFi industry and all these stable currencies and all people hedging into these stable currencies combined with the huge growth in volume in the DEX in the decentralized exchanges could propel Ethereum to much higher levels. Ethereum is always fighting this 250 US dollar level. This is the main resistance Ethereum needs to break, like the Bitcoin needs to break the 10K level. Ethereum needs to break the $250 level. I would keep my eye on Ethereum because if these huge companies like we saw yesterday, PayPal, Venmo, and all these companies are going to accept for their customers to buy Bitcoin now, then they will probably start to accept stable currencies as well. And these are again, mostly all built on Ethereum blockchain. So that could propel the Ethereum price to a new all-time high, guys. I even read one article from a fund manager, guys. This fund manager, guys, thinks that the Ethereum market gap will go to one trillion US dollars. One trillion US dollars, guys. Do you know how much that is? That would put Ethereum at 9,000 US dollars per Ethereum. That is really a high price for Ethereum. But who knows, this industry is only growing, guys. So let's see where we are going. I need to talk a little bit quietly because some people are doing yoga and all that stuff over here in this beautiful temple. So I will keep it a little bit quiet. Hopefully the sound is not too bad. And you can still hear me talking to you guys in this beautiful place here in Copa Garden. information guys the ethereum's locked up in DeFi 
decentralized finance industry, the amount of Ethereum locked up increased with 22% in the last seven days. With this future ahead of us of Ethereum 2.0, where people that have uh, about 32 Ethereum, I think, are able to stake their Ethereums, more Ethereums will get locked up in the future. And the more Ethereums get locked up, the less Ethereums will be available for the market. And the less Ethereums will be available for the market, the higher the price can go when demand grows. And I think with this growing demand of DeFi, with this growing demand of stable currencies, with this growing demand of Ethereum projects and blockchain projects building on Ethereum, I think Ethereum has a chance of increasing hugely in the next couple of years. enjoying this temple guys this is a beautiful temple if you enjoy this temple and the video till now guys give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified on every new video I make and you will never miss out on all these beautiful locations all over the world I visit while I share this beautiful news of the day about blockchain Bitcoin and life guys because it's just not only about Bitcoin and blockchain in our lives it's also about a family that gave up everything they had to fight for freedom and change their life because we wanted to change our life we wanted to have a different life and yeah oh my god we have a different life I am sweating a lot it's bloody hot in the middle of the Sun but I rather sweat guys than I freeze my balls off somewhere in the snow I am going to record the rest of the video here on top of this beautiful temple because I'm really hot and downstairs they are doing yoga. I don't want to disturb these guys. Yesterday morning at breakfast I went to this meetup. We call it a YouTube meetup. All kinds of YouTube influencers are on the island and they gather for a breakfast or coffee and just talk about their channels and how we can improve each other's channels. You know we just criticize in a positive way. We show one channel on the television and then we will say okay the thumbnails could be better or maybe you should use more categories in YouTube. I would change your intro, the banner, which hashtags to use, all these kinds of stuff, you know, that is relative. It was really cool. Carl the Moon was also there. Chris MM Crypto was there. Kyle from House of Dow was there. There were some very interesting people. One guy gave me some really wise lessons on how to improve my channel. I want to know your opinion about this because he was like, Didi, your YouTube banner is not really representing you. If people look at your YouTube and see your banner, they won't um, understand it's the guy that went all in with his family, you know, the camper van guy that went all in. So he suggested to me to change the YouTube banner and you know, include the camper, include the media outlets like CNBC, Wall Street Journal, all the ones that made a documentary about us. And also include, for example, a text, do you remember the Bitcoin family? And um, what do you think? Do you like our banner at the moment? You know, the one with all these comic characters that are now holding Bitcoins and everything. Or would you prefer a more quiet banner where you directly can see, ah yeah, that is the guy that sold his house and everything and went all in on Bitcoin and now traveling the world. Let me know your opinion. The second suggestion of these people was that my thumbnails are terrible. That one I can fully agree with. I hate my thumbnails. I hate making these thumbnails because I want to put all the information in these thumbnails that I speak about in the video. I should keep the thumbnails a little bit more quietly uh, with a few big words and just, you know, make them eye catchy so that people will really want to see the video. Now, sometimes I think people look at my thumbnail and they're like, what is this about? So hmm, let's see if I can come up with a new thumbnail for today. And if not, I'm going to spend today in the afternoon if the sun is not shining this, mo this much because then I prefer to swim but if else I'm going to spend this day in creating a new thumbnail template if one of you viewers is a specialist in creating thumbnails and wants to create this thumbnail template for me template, template, template for me <laughs> then please let me know I could use all the help because it's a lot of time now what I'm doing every day the videos the editing and then still the family life and still all my work and as an advisor and all the other stuff and um, so I could use all the help so let me know if you're a template specialist champion no one knows. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. how high to high no one knows. how low